Last week, Ben Carson was confirmed as the new Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, or as President Trump calls him, the Secretary of Blacks. <laughs> now, as is customary, the Secretary gave his first official speech to lay out his vision. And you know, normally, a Ben Carson speech is a bedtime story in a suit. <laughs> but after this speech, everybody was woke. A sharp reaction to Ben Carson's remarks. The housing secretary under fire for comparing slavery to immigration. That's what America is about. A land of dreams and opportunity. There were other immigrants who came here in the bottom of slave ships, worked even longer, even harder for less. That's one way to describe slavery. Makes them sound like they work at Walmart. <laughs> uh, the problem with slavery wasn't that they were underpaid. It's that they weren't paid. It's not like they got to the interview and were like, all right, now let's talk about my salary. And the guy's like, ooh, <laughs> no one told you about that? I'm not getting paid, I'm leaving. Ooh, no one told you about that part either? <laughs> Look, I love Ben Carson, but calling slaves immigrants <laughs> is like saying, it's not kidnapping, that person just got a free vacation in a basement. <laughs> So, obviously, everyone jumped on Ben Carson for this, and like a surgeon who forgot his sponge in someone's stomach, last night, Ben Carson went back in. Slaves came here as involuntary immigrants. If you come from outside to the inside, you're an immigrant. I think people need to actually look up the word immigrant. Okay, Ben Carson, challenge accepted. <laughs> Let's look up the word immigrants. Siri, is a slave an immigrant? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Look, the dictionary defines immigrant as a person who comes to a country to take up permanent residence. A person. Firstly, slaves weren't considered people. They were considered property. Secondly, they didn't come to America. They were brought here by force. Eddie Murphy came to America. <laughs> Kunta Kente was brought. Big difference, people. Big difference. And look, I get where Ben Carson is coming from. He grew up in the ghetto, and against all odds, he went on to become one of the most respected brain surgeons of all time. And then he joined Trump and surgically separated himself from his reputation. But that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, he believes you can do anything if you put your mind to it. And it's seductive to believe that African Americans share in the American immigration story. It's nice to try and sell unity, and Carson's not the first prominent black politician to go there. In fact, President Obama said something similar in 2015. Certainly, it wasn't easy for those of African heritage who had not come here voluntarily, and yet, in their own way, were immigrants themselves. See, you could tell before he said that part, he was thinking, damn, my uh, speechwriter <laughs> up. But still, he said it. And the truth is, it doesn't matter who says it. Slaves weren't immigrants. Because an immigrant has choice. They choose the country they're going to because they hope it'll bring them a better life. Saying that slaves are just another group of immigrants erases how black people were uniquely oppressed in America. It helps justify blaming African Americans for their hardships, you know? You can't do that. You can't ignore the deficit. It's like judging white people for bad twerking without acknowledging <laughs> that their asses are historically disadvantaged, people. <laughs> we have to acknowledge this pain. <laughs> Look, everyone has to admit, African Americans weren't originally part of the American dream, and no one should deny that. To have a future together doesn't require us to pretend that our pasts are the same. I mean, look at Beauty and the Beast. She's a French peasant, and he's a less hairy Steve Bannon, but they're gonna make it work. <laughs> they're gonna make it work. I will say this. As much as I disagree with Ben Carson's philosophy on this, you must admit, it must be a wonderful way to see the world. I wish Ben Carson made a slave movie. I mean, why wish? We made it ourselves. From a hard scrabble village in Africa, he came to America with only shackles and a dream. But he got a whole lot more than he bargained for. From the revisionary mind of Dr. Ben Carson comes the involuntary journey of one man's self-discovery. I will not fall into despair! Because sometimes you don't get to choose your own adventure. The adventure 
chooses you. 12 years a new guy in town. It's just not the same. Hey there, it's The Daily Show's Trevor Noah. We have our own YouTube channel now, so uh, please do subscribe. Uh, I'll, I'll wait so you can... I won't even look, just because I know that's weird. It's sort of like when a dog's doing its thing. You can just... Yeah, just subscribe. I won't, I won't look.